crypto, why do you have a $250,000 price target on Bitcoin? Ah, uh, simple. Look, Bitcoin is the largest computing network on the planet. It's the most important innovation probably of this century in terms of triple entry accounting and this migration to the trust net where we don't no longer need the, the trusted middlemen to exchange value. Value over internet protocol uh, using blockchain technology is maybe the most important advance uh, this century. And so Bitcoin is the first use case of blockchain technology. It is digital gold. So if you think about the monetary value of gold, it's about $4 trillion. Total gold is about $8 trillion. The monetary value is about $4 trillion. If we get to that level of equivalence, which I think we will, see, gold is a perfectly good asset. It's been money for 5,000 years. It is a perfect money. It doesn't have a liability associated with it, unlike fiat currencies, which all have government liabilities associated with it. Uh, and all fiat currencies eventually go away over, over long periods of time. Gold has been money for 5,000 years but it's not very divisible, it's not very portable. Bitcoin solves that, is it, a, it is a digitally scarce asset and will play that role, I think, going forward. So Bitcoin gold equivalents at 4 trillion makes it a $250,000 asset. I think over many, many years, it'll be multiples of that, but we won't talk about the price of Bitcoin in the future, we'll talk about Satoshis. In fact, that's why my Twitter handle is hashtag 2.1 quadrillion. There are 2.1 quadrillion Satoshis, 100 billion Satoshis per Bitcoin. And that will be the unit of measure we talk about uh, when crypto is the predominant means of, of exchanging value.